Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We still have a few clouds that we can kind of pour again out of the northwest. We'll kind of start off partly cloudy, but we'll kind of see a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the course of this morning and also around lunchtime and for parts of this afternoon. Doesn't feel too bad. We got a lot of places starting off mid 60s, some places still in the lower 70s, but it doesn't feel that bad because humidity values have actually dropped off a little bit, especially further than the north you go. Here's a look at the Doppler radar at 514. Not tracking anything. Nice clean sweep across the entire Arklamas. Here's looking live in downtown El Dorado where you can see got a few clouds in the background temperature starting off in the mid 60s up in that direction. Current temperature in El Dorado is 63 degrees. Winds are still calm. Dew point still sitting right at 62. As you're heading out the door again won't feel too bad. Won't be as humid. We'll start warming up though hitting back to the mid 80s at lunchtime and then by later on today 3 5 o'clock late this afternoon and evening we'll be hitting those upper 80s for our daytime highs. We're currently at 65 degrees in Ruston 63 in El Dorado and Camden 64 Montsell. Monroe still sitting at 71 and these Two points. Notice how they're kind of lowered, especially further north. You go Greenville and Montsell sitting right there at 60. And we got a little bit more moisture further to the southwest, but those winds have been trying to push in out of the northeast, giving us a little bit slightly cooler and drier air. Our forecast highs will still be making it into that mid upper 80 range. Some places further south be just a little bit warmer, 88, 89, might be borderlining 90 uh, for later on this afternoon. And these temperatures are just going to keep warming back up by at least Thursday. We're going to be hitting back to the 90s for a good chunk of the area. And then mid 90s when fighting the Saturday. And the good news is we're not really expecting heat advisor criteria. Our dew point should be low enough that it won't warrant that. But we can still see that heat index climb to the upper 90, might be hitting into around 100, 101. So heat safety still needs to be practiced nonetheless, especially for this weekend. Now later on next week, we are expecting a new system to arrive, which will uh, kind of allow temperatures to drop off and get us a break from that mid 90 range back to the mid 80s. Looking in the satellite radar, currently we got that frontal boundary just down to the south. There is an upper level low that is sparking up some strong thunderstorms across the panhandle of Texas and that upper level low will stay mostly further out west across Texas and really won't be giving us too many problems as far as rainfall is concerned. Can't rule out maybe a stray shower or two later on this evening as the upper level low begins to kind of break down a little bit but you can see there's that swath that will move across uh, southeast Texas. Some of that might make it as far east into central Louisiana, probably south I-20 corridor. That will be late tonight going into early tomorrow morning, but we continue with winds still out of the northeast. We got high pressure uh, currently sitting across the uh, Appalachians in the northeast, and that continues to allow winds to kind of still fuel out of that direction. Not breezy or gusty or anything, but still enough to help us with those dew points a little bit, especially far to the northeast across parts of the Mississippi Delta and areas north of I-20. So 5 o'clock in the morning, we'll see maybe a stray shower or two linger for some places south of I-20, and notice how these clouds really start to break down a little bit. The further we go into our Wednesday and then throughout the rest of the week you know, we'll start to see much clearer conditions as these temperatures though begin morning back up to the 90s. But you have 88 degrees for this afternoon not going to be as humid and then tonight we will fall to the mid 60s straight shower too possible for areas further south then tomorrow will be mostly clear temperatures will be in the upper 80s and then throughout the rest of the week just continue that warming trend the 90s through the weekend but then later on next week we are expecting a new system to arrive which will spark up more chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday through Tuesday, but at least it'll give us a break from those mid-90s we'll see over the weekend. So that's right back watching NBC 10 News Today.